I got bait for a real fish. If it's as big as your hand, it's a keeper. I don't know if you guys caught that, but as soon as I drop that bobber down, I'm fishing about six, about seven feet down. I'm starting to get uh, keeper-sized bluegills now, whereas before I was just getting all those little bitty ones. Grab up a few stinging nettles along the way. I just use a burdock leaf to grab them. That way I don't get those stingers all in my fingers. But it's a nice way to gather up some nutritious food along the way. I mean, I'm out here hiking along the shore of this lake. I might as well grab some nettles up while I'm at it. I got a few morels earlier. And if I get a few bluegills, I'm going to make some lunch. There's a nice female, except I think I'm going to let her go because she's been rubbing. I can see rub marks on her where she's rubbed her scales off. She's making a nest, so not really that big a deal with bluegills, but it's nice to find some big ones in here, so hurry up and get this one back in the water. Here to cut me a stick for a stringer for my fish and found one lonely sprig of asparagus. Mm. That's the best way to eat it right there. Little rock bass, red eye, speckled on the side. Big mouth. Pretty good eating. Even these small ones. I'm 
but I think I'm gonna let him go. Nice one, nice male. You can generally tell the males because they'll be much brighter colored than the females, but that's a good keeper fish right there. So we're gonna put him on a stringer. little slip bobber that way if I lose this one I'm good to go I find these all the time I don't think I've bought a bobber in 20 years well there's another decent little rock bass and I'm gonna keep him and I got three other bluegills I'm gonna go clean these up and have me some uh, what's getting to be dinner now Well guys, my hair's probably a mess, but I've been out here in the wind all day fishing, so I guess that should be expected. But I got about a two mile walk back to a spot where I can cook these fish and nettles and morels up. And I brought some ramen noodles too, I think I'm gonna cook those up with it. But uh, this backpack with my little tackle box and that stringer and everything, it's, it's really helpful. Makes this walk uh, pretty easy. Well guys, I kind of got shooed out of the park there. Like I was telling you, there wasn't any room for me to uh, cook this stuff. But uh, that's not going to stop me. I'm going to go ahead and cook it up right here at home.